Daniel 10. In the third year of Koresh, king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Baal Shetzatzar, and the thing was true. But the time appointed was long, and he understood at the thing and had understanding of the vision. In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were fulfilled. And in the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is Kidechel, then I lifted up at my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fire, rather with fine gold of Uphaz. His body also was like the Beryl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. And I, Daniel, alone saw at the vision, for the men that were with me saw not at the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone, and saw at this great vision, and there remained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned in me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yet heard I at the voice of his words, and when I heard at the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. And behold, a hand touched me which set me upon my knees and upon the psalms, rather the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto you and stand upright. For unto you am I now sent. And when he had spoken at the wor this word unto me, I stood trembling then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that you did set at your heart to understand and to chasten yourself before your Elohim, your words were heard, and I am come for your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but lo, Mikael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make you understand at what shall befall your people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. And behold, one like the similitude of the sons of men touched my lips. Then I opened my mouth and spoke. And he said unto him that stood before me, O oh, my Lord, by the vision my sorrows are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. For how can the servant of this, my Lord, talk with this, my Lord? For as for me, straightway there remained no strength in me neither is there breath left in me. Then there came again and touched me, one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me, and said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not, peace be unto you, be strong, yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened, and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Then said he, 
Know you wherefore I come unto you? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Yavan shall come. But I will show you at that which is noted in the scripture of truth. And there is none that holds with me in these things, but Mikael, your prince.